time flies. Another tournament for CN versions is just ended. This is an interesting matchup. We rarely to have two ninja in the court in tournament match. And we have Ryoji Daddy in the court. If Ryoji can perform, I think we can use him to defend a once Rukawa. Let's see how it goes. Rukawa can blend in any formation. Both Rukawa and Miyamasu are great puzzle. Rukawa will focus to create space, so HM is using Ryoji to restrict his movement. Since there is no chance to shoot, Rukawa decided to attack the basket. Monster Jun protected the rim. Hainan Shorty secured the floor ball. Wow, even with Ryoji Daddy interference, Rukawa still able to make it with second attempt. That shows he is really good in resistance. Sendo directly used his fade away. Rukawa stopped him with no hesitation, but the game is just started. Sendo has no ulti to use, not a wise move. Great team is taking their time to find better opportunity. Ryoji touch your Volvo skill appear. <laughs> That's why Kenji Fujima and Awash Rukawa are scared of Ryoji daddy. Nice block from Jun again. Great team still have the possession. This is the downside for picking Ryoji. During offensive turn, Ryoji daddy is hardly to attract one defender on him. Rukawa just keep his distance with Ryoji and still able to assist his teammates. We will fail to realize this kind of play in our ranking match. A delaying move done by Takasago even though he is not doing a screen. The defender is just blocked by a big stone. Sendo nearly intercepts the pass, Jun pick it up by his own. After the last adjustment, we have to be careful about our passing timing, especially for the characters have low controls. Here you go. Signature ultimate fade away from Rukawa. This time he copies Sendo move. For a once version, he can't do it without copying skill. By converting a once Rukawa and a once Sendo, a once Rukawa is more value for money. Although their ranking most likely is first and second, there is two reasons why I choose a once Rukawa over a once Sendo. And the second reason is I am a slow poke. A once Rukawa is much easier to control than a once Sendo. Nice pro from Takasago. If we pay more attention on the sequence of Rukawa's scoring move, we are not difficult to find out. Rukawa is trying to attack the basket with odd number shot. Second attempt will copy shooting skill. Roji leads him to this scenario. The heavy interference effect. This time Rukawa tried to change, but still, no chance. Roji is facing awkward moment, even though he looks like having a wide open chance. While facing talented defender, he is hardly to take a shot without worrying to get blocked. Just like this formation, it's quite good in normal ranking match. Takasako is the second scoring option, and Sento can try to score as he likes. With Miyamasu interference, a one Sento still able to make it with 2 to 3 tries. Do you guys find out why Miyamasu is wide open? CO is paying back to HM with the same tactic. Jun is blocking Sento by just walking to him. Sento is stuck. As in normal ranking match, if you find out your teammates cannot defend his target, trying to find out whether they are using this trick. This can be happened in the blink of an eye. Takazako set the screen. Miyamasu and Rukawa have circumvented around him. Takazako able to bump Shorty aside. A wide open fade away from Sento. HM takes the lead. Both team center are just doing their job at the best. Centers are protecting the painted zone good enough and also running around to help their teammates to score. Does not have any resting time. Two great passes are passing around between them. OMG OMG, Sentos fall down. Ryoji immediately cover up. Under the basket, Jun is bullying Takasago. Nice block from Sento. Ryoji dash forward to the floor ball without any delay. Like he knew Sento is able to shut him down. Sento's second point layout is good. But cannot pass through the rim. Ryoji again had the rebound. Still the same, he has no room to shoot. So he passed back to Sento. Sento took another interfere shot. No good. Takasako secured the rebound with Audi. Possession remained. Sendos broke Jun's anger, but he chose to score with second point. Rukawa stopped him the game. Takasako picked up the floor ball. Sendo wasted no time. Another second point fade away. Finally, they have three points lead. About one minute remaining, not a team is taking out their advantage. Rukawa did a pull-up jumper when he realized Ryoji is not in front of him. Jun has his back. Miyawasu try again. And miss. This time Takasago won the rebound. CO will take the first loss if they are letting blue team to score one more time. The pressure is falling on CO's shoulder. Another scream from Takasago. Miyamasu slipped through it. Red team nearly wasted another possession. Luckily Jun took it back. Miyamasu turned on his maniac mood. No choice for them, they have to tie the game first. They are believing in Jun's rebounding ability. After seeing Ryoji is approaching him, Miyamasu has to pass. Sendo used his blink block to end this possession. Looting is more cautious on their passings while looking for open space. After Sendo summoned his shadow while catching the pass, then he did the driving move two times and created a wide open fadeaway. This shot killed the game. 20 seconds left, 3 possessions game. HM took the first win.
Ryoji has completed his duty perfectly. Rukawa was having a hard time to score. Same to Miyamasu. Three-pointer has to be wide open to be effective in tournament game. Both team centers were doing great, especially Jun. Jun did his best, but killed the rebounds at crucial moments. Just the scorers can't make any score. And in front of Ryoji, Takasako did protected the rim good enough. Tento has nice follow-up for second point. It makes Miyamasu had to take risky shot. HM has two great supports, and Ace is being an ace. Next game. We have new candidate in this match. Rango appears with Shohei Sakuragi to form twin rebounders formation. I think Rango might be replacing Takasago. Their skill sets are similar, since he can be a good screen too, and his blocking range is larger than Takasago. Segawa tried to be sneaky picky, but a big no was shut off from Sakuragi. Sakuragi is trying to set the screen, but no good look. Kenji deflected the pass. Miyamasu still has it. Kenji sent him back. Since Hasegawa is on his back to follow up if Miyawasu did a step shot. Shot clock has two, big rejection from Jun. Excellent pass and a wide open catch and shoot. HM score first. Because Hasegawa got new move, spin and step back. If guessed wrongly and teammate is not following up, then it's a wide open. Kenji is trying to steal and he can't block. Miyamasu tried to shoot a trees and miss. Another one from Hasegawa, even with heavy interference. Jun has the advantage on mid-range shot rebound. Sakuragi is trying to slow Kenji. Somehow Kenji walked through him. Then Rango did a floater and miss. Jun has the rebound. So long as close range shot on layout miss, it always is low bounce rebound, including in and out. Ninja layout from Jun! No one is expecting this happen. It's a 6-0 run. This is not looking good to CO. Another pass was deflected, then Sakuragi still become tipping up. Finally, Sakuragi just found a wide open shot. After season 4 started, the chance of my shot here Sakuragi misses of open 2 has been increased. Somehow the wide open accuracy is weakened. Kenji is trying to anger break the defender. Once defender is falling down, he can shoot the wide open shot. CO is doing great in covering each other. Rango was cheated, it's a step back shot. Miyamasu was slow to react. Basically this is another travelling call. More and more moves are against basketball rules, so sad to see that. Nice follow-ups from Jun. Fear the monster! This time Rango scored with a step back skyhook. Asegawa is making a mistake here. He is the one who should follow up. Kenji tried to break their defense formation with a stepping forward fake shoot and pass. And he immediately turned on his Audi while seeing Miyamasu miss position. He made the correct judgment. What a play. He surely to have a good eyesight and very decisive. Making a good call in such a short time. CO is trying to calm down and good ball movements. Is that a wide open? Rango is trying to shoot too. OMG OMG. Jun grabbed the ball ball directly with his LD. This time Rango also tried to block the first. Miyamasu is stunned for half a second, which lead to another wide open. The scoreboard is 13 to 4. CO is having a big big problem. Not only cannot score, they also cannot stop rival to score, which they do have two blockers and rebounders. They are not able to utilize their advantage from their pick formation. Another wide open miss from Rango, and now eternal green light is on. Much more lower possibility for CO to overtake the situation. One. I think this match is over. Two minutes remaining, and CO does not have any stealer. 11 points gaps means six possessions game. Even Miyamasu tried to shoot three, also need four shots made from downtown. Miyamasu grabbed his own miss. Kenji intercepted the pass. Are you guys ready for Awakened Hasegawa? Best defender. He is coming soon. Should be after a once Rukawa. I am so excited about it. Since we will not spend any diamonds on him, I am happy on this matter. Imagine we just need to spend our accumulated talent sharks for him and keep our precious diamonds for another top tier character. Think about it already happy. We will never regret to have him. As we know that, the upcoming ninjas must have all three defenders to try to stop them. The one with good running speed and big blocking range, that is Hasegawa. We might have banning session in ranking mode soon, either implement in season 5 or 6. This could be good to players gaming experience. We can see more faces in the game, and for sure, ninja hardly to be appear in the match. It's your choice to train those ninjas. If we done too much resources on them, we might not have the opportunity to use them. Enjoy while we can. So currently, I am also hesitating to build ninja. I am worrying that I only can be played 1 to 2 months time. Then all diamonds already said goodbye to me. And I need to slowly step out the resources again. Ango rebound Audi. And this is really cool. Exactly like the anime.
Look like this match is not a good showcase for him. I think you guys don't mind that I fast forward this match from this point of time. The players are just messing around and thinking about the next game strategy. After a remarkable first match, then we have a one-sided match. Does CO have any trumps cut in their hands? Let us continue to enjoy their plays. No doubt, HM has destroyed their view from the start. Strong defense assisted HM to build their leads, and CO has given out from the struggle. Wow, CO picked Takasako and Rango together, but this time Kenji is with them. Are they going to play as double screen? HM selected the bow as rebounder. I think they need his speed to defend Kenji if the other two were bomb away. But like this, HM has two ninjas. Are they serious about the pick? Rukawa shoots another wide open two after a miss layout. Rango and Kenji both miss positions. From their place, Takasago is still the screen for Kenji. Rango is the decoy to the pain. Both Sendo and Rukawa are well positioned. Kenji drives were being stopped for a few times. Nice play. Takasago's screen is working. At the same time, Naito was falling down when he was trying to cover. Rukawa is just slow by a bit bit. The defense was great. The major concern of CO is to slow down two ninjas. Rango will be the key person in the game. Takasago's speed is not allowing him to be good to chase down these two characters. Nice defense here. Rango is tired and tries to rest on the floor. If we put attention to Kenji, he squished to the paint while Rukawa is trying to attack. He was preparing to block Rukawa's second point if he tried to lay out. Great blocking timing and position for Takasago too. If executing their plan accordingly, all the scoring responsibility will fall on Kenji. Rango's floater and step back is too easy to get blocked due to HM has all the speed tight characters. Kakashi is performing his summoning jutsu. Naito dash forward to close the distance and successfully block Kenji's shot. Ninja teams take back the possession. Sendo is wide open, but he has slight hesitation. He might thinking which Rasengan he wants to use. Kenji missed the block. Almost one minute pass. The score is 4-2. Both teams are trying their best. Takasago bump away Rukawa, and step forward trick is used. Rango was stopped by the ball. Then they reset the play. Kenji took another heavy interfere shot. Sendo had the rebound. Two rebounders are yet to position themselves for fighting the rebound. Sendo's player is using the combo perfectly. Rango is standing too far away. He cannot pick up his pace to block the second point. Nice one. Another working screen. One punch man is not making any mistake too. Kenji has no room to shoot. Another incredible position for Sendo again. Too bad no one follow up when Rukawa's hand is itchy. Nice interception. They have the chance to tie the game. Naito pulled back too much. He created the shooting chance for Kenji. This game is amazing. Although Kenji's movement is restricted, he still managed to have few good shots. The layout was rejected by Rango. Too bad that Naito has the edge on picking up Flobo. Rukawa tried a shot and Naito again, who grabbed the rebound from the two big rebounders. This time Takasako sees through Sendo's intention. He able to interfere the shot. Who has the rebound again? One Punch Man! Sendo used exactly the same move and score. OMG OMG! Naito rebounding ability is not kidding! Kenji thought he escaped from the defenders. Naito is the one step in front of him. Rukawa reset the possession in no time and tried again but missed. Naido has the rebound. This will be a good play if Sento is not being stopped by Kenji. Naido was bumped down one defender and Takasako angles were spoken. Rukawa still has a wide open chance. I really think that this double screen formation will work great in ranking mode. Kenji's speed can bring confusion to the defenders. Then Rango can do a pump fake and step back skyhook. Most likely the defenders will not able to react in time. Quite a good formation. Naido blocking timing is way. Nearly blocked their shot. Still is one possession game. Although HM has two ninjas in their team, CO is not giving away their ground that easily. Another rejection from Rango. Same ball in Naito's hands. Squaggy move from Naruto. He spotted Takasako missed position and directly dunk over him. I think I am not suitable for a one sento. Their plays are just unbelievable. Making a call in the second, that is too good for me. Takasako is stucking Rukawa and Kenji's step forward shot is working this time. The problem is, Kenji cannot maintain his ulti. Threatening level is fallen to the lower stage. Rukawa copied Kenji's shot and score. This lead is unchanged. Still got chance. We really can learn a lot of their positioning skill in this match, especially stopping Kenji's drive. They predicted the drive ending spot accurately. Rango traced back 2 points by his rebound dunks. Kenji's next shot will be highest chance shot. Nice man, Sento deceived Takasago to follow him and attack the basket directly. Takasago is totally out of position. Can Kenji turn the table? 
Quanji was being stopped again. He passed to Rango and reset the play. Naito caught him this time. This is dangerous to lose a possession at this moment. Rukawa is not waiting Kenji to recover from a flinch animation. He did another wide open pull out and is good. This becomes challenging to CO to chase from behind. There is no time to waste. Kenji try and Rango grab the rebound. They have to keep trying to compete with the time too. Sendo is not letting his gut down. Rango's floater was blocked. Can they shut the balls out? This is a no. HM won the series. From these few matches, we can foresee our future, while Ninja is our rival. Without the helps from our teammates, I don't think we stand a chance, especially when the rival's team has another point guard role and Ryoda Miyaki. His quick leg out pass will cause Sander to jump and block. If without proper communication, our life in Slendown Mobile will become miserable. We discover another great news from here. Jun still playable, just need Hasegawa to chase down two scorers. At the end, the speed of a character still determines whether he is good in defense or not. Rango has top tier speed too, so for this match, mostly he is still able to run around to help to defend second scoring point. Getting more and more difficult to defend from now on. Wish us luck. If you enjoy the content, kindly give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys, I will be back.